Hey, so in a very special tips and techniques today, I'm here at the Serato studio in London with Blakey. Hi, Blakey. What's up? So we're going to go for a pro tip here. And this is especially for all you DJs who are rolling up at clubs with your age-old breakout box or audio interface and using DVS with Serato, the way you've done it for years. Blakey's going to try and change your mind here by showing you something that you just can't do the way you're doing it now. And it's so easy to get this right. So what we're going to look at. So we're going to directly connect from the Pioneer DJM 900 Nexus straight to our computer. No need for a Serato box at all. And then I'm going to show you how to MIDI map any function inside Serato DJ Pro to the DJM 900 Nexus. And this is quick, right? You could do this before a gig, turn up somewhere, you could have it done in seconds, right? Certainly. You could do it during the gig. It right. takes moments. Let's find out how. So we are plugged directly into the DJM 900 Nexus straight into the laptop and we're using Serato DJ Pro. Now, up here on the DJM 900 Nexus, in the MIDI section here, if we turn MIDI on, we can now map any button or dial on this mixer to any function in Serato DJ Pro. So what I'm gonna do, these fader start buttons here that nobody uses, they're kind of, kind of useless. I like to map these buttons to hot cues in Serato DJ Pro. So to do that, all you need to do is on the Serato DJ Pro software, go to the MIDI tab, and now you can see all of the functions that you can map to the mixer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to hot cue number one of the left deck. It says click to assign MIDI. So I'm gonna click that once, and now the software is waiting for me to press one of these buttons so that it knows which button I would like to assign that hot cue to. So I'm going to press this here, you press that, and now on the software you can see that it's turned blue and it says that it's assigned to that button. Now what I need to do, one more step, where it says data type absolute C, that means if you press the C button on your keyboard you can change the data type. We want it to be relative on off. And that's it, it's done. So now in Serato DJ Pro, let's click out of the MIDI tab. And now that button, fader start, will be my hot cue. Yeah. So that's really cool. You could have two cues on one deck and two on the other, for instance, yeah. and then you've got kind of like your basic sorted uh, in seconds. Yep. Is there anything more clever you can do? You you obviously spent a while thinking about this. So uh, anything more clever that you like to do when you, uh, so, you get this chance? Something I like to do, I love the echo out effect in Serato DJ Pro. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign the um, amount here to one of the dials on the mixer. Very simple. Go to the MIDI tab. Click on this dial here. And now on the mixer, you adjust the dial that you would like to assign it to. So I'm... I've got uh, deck one in Serato running through channel two. So I'm going to use the mid section of the EQ on channel one. So now this has the echo out amount assigned to it. So what that means is, let's go out of MIDI. What that means is I have echo out turned on constantly. You can play the song. Yeah. So that will turn the effect up, and as soon as you turn it down, that will disengage the effect. Really simple, really useful as well. So a DJM 900 Nexus tip there from Blakey here at Serato. A special tips and tricks here on Digital DJ Tips today. If you've liked this, please do like it, please share it, uh, and please give these guys some love as well. Cheers, Blakey. No worries.